Now to new details about a 16-page lawsuit against one of Atlanta's leading entrepreneurs. Pinky Cole rose to fame for her vegan brand, Slutty Vegan, which now includes restaurants, a cookbook, even a foundation. But now an employee is suing, saying her restaurant withheld tips. 11 Live's John Shearick breaks down the allegations. Three. The allegations against Pinky Cole attempt to portray a side of her behind the scenes that is completely opposite of everything the public has come to know about her. The Pinky Cole who made her millions creating a popular vegan brand and made her reputation transforming her brand well. into generous philanthropy. I'm helping people, offering people a helping hand and giving them an opportunity to be their best version of themselves. But one of Cole's now former employees is suing Cole. A woman who worked for Cole at Bar Vegan in Pont City Market in Atlanta for two and a half years. She is suing Cole and Cole's two co-owners. The woman, Morgan Georgia, accuses the three owners of demanding 25% of the employees' tips while also paying them below minimum wage and telling the employees, according to the lawsuit, quote, 25% of the tips go to the house. That is our policy. If you don't like it, find another place to work. Can an employer take any portion of an employee's tips? No, absolutely not. That is a violation of the Fair Labor Standards Act. There are civil penalties uh, where an, an employer does something like that. Atlanta attorney Ed Buckley, who is not associated with the lawsuit, says it would be relatively easy to prove if it has been happening. He's handled similar cases against employers. And they do things because they think they can get away with it, or they do things because they are intimidating the employees, and they think that the employees will stay intimidated. It actually happens more than is reported. Pinky Cole and her attorney declined to comment. Her attorney is about to file a formal response with the court. Morgan Georgia is demanding for herself and other employees the amount of wages and tips she says Cole and her co-owners kept from them for the past three years. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.